Just after authorities had said that they called off their search, that they were pulling out of that community there in Watertown, and that it was okay for folks to go outside, to go out and about and kind of resume their normal activities. And then we saw everything just change and take a very severe turn with those shots fired. And as we reported, you had everyone there in that community just on the edge of their seat waiting to see what was going to happen with this manhunt, waiting for that moment where they could uh, have this suspect captured and where everyone in that community just could breathe a sigh of relief. And we did see that moment. You saw it live on television and then we've had these news conferences afterwards just recapping the emotions that Boston and the surrounding communities have been through in the last uh, five days. And it was definitely intense, whether you were in a newsroom, you were on the sidewalks there, or just watching yeah, it from your uh, televisions at home. And again, if we look down at the uh, corner of your screen there, you can see we are awaiting comments. We've been carrying these uh, news conferences for you guys and these comments from the president. He had an appearance there as well in Boston at the vigil. We've been carrying these moments to bring you up to date on what is happening there so that you can feel as connected as possible, even though we are not in that direct community in that immediate area there. So we will bring that to you as soon as we have it. But for right now, we're going to go to Frank Recchi, our reporter who is in the Boston area, who is bringing updates from Watertown today. What's the latest at this point where you are? Sarah, back to you. That was our Frank Recchio reporting. Thanks so much, Frank. And uh, there was that Boston tweet from the police there saying, quote, captured, the hunt is over, the search is done, the terror is over, and justice has one suspect in custody. What a powerful statement there. And just unbelievable that uh, tweet, uh, Twitter, has really become a part of this news development, this story, just feeding out that information instantaneously to reporters, to people at home watching through their television sets and online and on their mobile devices, just really using that as a tool to spread the word. Right now, we're gonna go to President Barack Obama with his comments. Tonight, our nation is in debt to the people of Boston and the people of Massachusetts. And there you have President Barack Obama leaving the podium there after expressing his sympathy and his words to the victims as well as the, uh, the folks who survived this tragedy. And he mentioned the five days of bravery, all of the emergency personnel that fought through this to bring closure and uh, to ultimately capture that one suspect that was running from the law on the loose. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, they do have that suspect in custody. He is alive.